Here's another trapdoor rifle. This one's a bit of a mystery. I kind of know it's a drill rifle. Uh, basically, I bought it thinking it was a 1868 uh, trapdoor, which from the outward appearance it looks like it. But any of these guns where you find the lock like this or uh, trigger guard has been nickeled or chrome plated, that tells you right there and then it's a drill rifle. I've seen these at the whole barrel and everything's uh, been nickeled or chrome plated. I think that's nickel. That's an old uh, job. So I get this gun and go, all right, so I bought an old drill rifle. Let me see how bad, you know, because the guy just said, Trap Doral Springfield, you know, he said it wasn't in the best of shape. So I said, okay, let's take a look and see what we got. Another gamble. So, you get it, and we look at the receiver. And 1870. 1870. So everything on the markings, the receiver is pointing to an 1868 uh, rifle, 5070 caliber. But over here, we should have a serial number on the barrel in the receiver. They've been ground off. Also, this stock does not have a cartouche. It's still pretty good. There's no P down there. So this is a replacement or aftermarket stock. What vintage, I have no idea. And you know, along with some closer examination, you know, it's just the same, 5070. Everything kind of looks kosher. Now when the gun came to me, it had the uh, sear and the screw missing, and the firing, tip, tip, firing pin tip was broke off. And that means basically somebody set this gun so nobody could load it and fire it. It was a drill rifle, probably it could have been in a school or some organization over the years. Um, but if, you know, then upon closer examination, there's no uh, band springs for either one, which means it's not a military stock, it's some sort of replacement stock or something made later. So I said, all right, again, didn't, didn't spend a whole ton of money on it. So I said, if anything, you try to sell it for parts, worse comes to worse, or sell it to somebody for a wall hanger. Then I was looking, and I noticed that the sight was way far away than where it should be for an 1868 uh, rifle and an 1870 rifle. So I... Uh, Let's get my other two and compare, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, here's our rifle in question in the distance from the end of the receiver to the sight. It's not a proper sight. It's like a Allen second conversion sight. But you will find them on a lot of 1868s. Um, they were surplused out. Now here's an 1868 with the proper sight. And if you notice, its sight base is almost up against the receiver, like that. And it has serial numbers in the right place where they should be. But that's the way the proper sight positioning should be. Not that far away from the receiver. And if we go to an 1870, you notice 1870, they had two versions. One was close like this, and this is the later version, I think, where they moved the sight a tad, okay? And also, the 1870s had the shorter receiver nose, and 1870s were never, uh, most of them were not, didn't have a serial number on them, okay? Which is strange. Now, this gun has the sight which is way farther away from the receiver. You can see them here. It's that's a giant difference. It's like a couple inches. And the serial numbers are ground off. So I'm thinking, what would have a sight that far away? It takes a screw, I can put a 
military style site on it. We would have a similar site which these sites were also used with the screw to base net unlike uh, Remington rolling blocks. So I'm thinking to myself this ain't a, this is not a trapdoor barrel. Somebody fitted another 50-70 caliber barrel on there which may have come off a Remington rolling block and this gun was pieced together years ago. But if we look it's hard to say the sights look the same which could be the same I don't know so it's a tough call but I don't believe that's a trapdoor barrel on there I believe another barrel was fitted on this which is something Bannerman and all the rest of these arms dealers used to do and it was a drill rifle it was really never meant to be fired so that's probably what it is okay the absence of the barrel or the band keepers or springs or whatever you know, the gun was never meant to be fired. It was meant to be a ceremonial weapon. So, of course, I got to scrape the rust out of the barrel. There's rifling and stuff in there. And I had five or six rounds from uh, when I was of smokeless 5070, which I was firing in my uh, Sharps uh, replica. So I took this out. I didn't have a camera. And I said, let's see if I can blow it up, see if it'll fire fired all five or six rounds and surprisingly enough after I you know fired it once or twice from the hip I had four shots touching each other at 50 yards which was super accurate it was the best shot I had there or one of the best groupings so now I was going to take this clean it up you know sell it as a wall hanger at a gun show tell people you know you can't fire it or whatever but now after I was fooling around with it I'm going to work up some lows and we're going to take this out and shoot it, see what it does. It's actually an accurate gun for an old drill gun that's assembled from parts. And like I said, I ain't got a ton of cash into it and got a little 5070 shooter. So it's another gun we're going to do a video on. My drill rifle, mystery drill rifle. Uh, and it's pretty interesting. So uh, wait for the video to come out where we shoot it.